Tom Cruise, my friend, will tie himself to a side of an airplane and it will take off and land. I put applesauce on my neck so a pit bull could give me love and affection. I don't, I don't know who's braver. Who doesn't know Tom Cruise? The man is practically a legend in Hollywood with countless blockbusters to his name. He has kept the Mission Impossible franchise relevant for almost three decades and has generated billions of dollars worldwide. This makes him one of the highest paid actors in the history of the entertainment industry. However, not everyone in Hollywood idolizes him. Some well-known celebrities have spoken up against Tom Cruise and made it clear that they want nothing to do with him. There was something that bothered you about uh, about Tom Cruise, is that correct? Firstly, he's a glorious man and he's very kind and sweet. Yes. That's what you say if you want to continue to work in the film industry. From rivals in the Church of Scientology to heartbroken ex-wives, there are a lot of people who hate Tom Cruise. Tune in as we take a closer look at celebrities who think that Tom Cruise has gone rogue. John Travolta In the world of Scientology, there is a feud between two of Hollywood's most famous faces, Tom Cruise and John Travolta. Despite their shared beliefs, rumors, and reports suggest a rivalry between them, largely fueled by jealousy and competition for favor within the church. Brendan Tighe, a former member and security guard for the Church of Scientology, revealed that John has long felt envious of Tom's special treatment within the organization. According to Tighe, Tom enjoys direct access to Scientology leader David Miscavige, a privilege that was not extended to John. This status has led to Tom receiving extravagant gifts, such as an airplane hangar and custom-made motorcycles. The tension reportedly reached a peak in 2008, when Tom was awarded the Freedom Medal of Valor, a prestigious honor given to the most dedicated member of Scientology. Tide noted that John was extremely jealous of this recognition, feeling that his own contributions were being overshadowed. This medal solidified Tom's position as a favored member of the church, worsening the existing rivalry between the two actors. Despite the public appearances they occasionally make together at Scientology events, the underlying tensions between Tom and John point to the complexities of personal ambitions within the organization. Their competitive pursuit of status within Scientology has strained their relationship, with both vying for prominence and recognition from Miscavige. While neither Tom nor John has publicly acknowledged any animosity towards each other, the accounts from insiders like T provide a glimpse into the internal dynamics of Scientology. The church's secretive nature and strict control over its image mean that such conflicts rarely come to light. However, the alleged dispute between Tom and John emphasizes the personal and professional challenges that come with their high-profile association with Scientology. This rivalry is not just about their fame in Hollywood, but also revolves around their aspirations within the church. Tom's close ties to Miscavige and the privileges that come with it appear to have fueled resentment from John. Even with their shared beliefs, the competition for favor and recognition within Scientology has created a rift that seems far from resolved. Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, had strong feelings about Tom Cruise, especially concerning their mutual involvement in Scientology. Lisa Marie was deeply involved with Scientology from a young age. She joined the church in the 1970s, inspired by her mother's involvement. However, over the years, she became aware of the church's attempts to use her celebrity status to recruit others, including her ex-husband, Michael Jackson. Lisa Marie revealed in interviews that Scientology leader David Miscavige took a keen interest in her once she inherited her father's estate at the age of 25. She claimed that she was groomed for a prominent role within the church, but she eventually became frustrated with their tactics and left the organization in 2014. Despite her long-standing affiliation with Scientology, Lisa Marie did not get along with its most famous member, Tom Cruise. She bluntly said that she hated Tom and never wanted to be in a room with him again. Her strong sentiment surprised many, as she was not primarily known for her acting career. This made her public animosity towards Tom unexpected. Her outspoken dislike for Tom sheds light on the internal dynamics and conflicts within Scientology, which are often shielded from public view. In her interviews, Lisa Marie also discussed how the church attempted to recruit her former husband, Michael Jackson, 
but later changed their minds due to his controversial public image. She claimed that Scientology even facilitated their divorce, pushing her to leave him despite her desire to help him during his troubled times. This manipulation by the church contributed to her growing suspicion and eventual departure from Scientology. Her candidness about her feelings towards Tom Cruise and her falling out with the church offer a rare glimpse into the internal power struggles and dynamics among its high-profile members. This conflict emphasizes the personal challenges and decisions faced by those involved in Scientology despite the unified front often presented to the public. Leah Remini Leah Remini and Tom Cruise were once bonded by their shared commitment to Scientology, but now their relationship has soured over the years. Leah, best known for her role in King of Queens, was deeply involved with Scientology from a young age. She joined the organization in the 1970s alongside her mother. However, after decades of involvement, she left the church in 2013 due to increasing suspicions about its practices and leadership. In her memoir, Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology, Leah detailed her negative experiences with Tom Cruise. She recounted incidents where his behavior left her surprised, including an episode where he allegedly exploded over cookie dough. Leah depicted Tom as someone who behaved like a child who had never been told no. This side of him hugely contradicts his public personality. Leah's departure from Scientology did not silence her. Rather, it fueled her to become one of the church's most vocal critics. She has frequently targeted Tom, accusing him of being deeply complicit in the church's controversial practices. When Top Gun Maverick enjoyed success, Leah warned against being swayed by Tom's star power. She asserted that he was aware of all the happenings within Scientology. In a 2017 Reddit AMA, Leah bluntly stated that Tom was not a good person, which is very different from how he portrays himself in public. She claimed that those who worked closely with him, even non-Scientologists, described him as diabolical. Leah's outspoken nature has not only brought attention to her personal experiences, but also to broader concerns about Scientology's practices and its most famous member, Tom Cruise. Her criticisms of Tom extend beyond personal grievances. Leah has taken legal action against Scientology, naming Tom as a central figure in the organization's hierarchy. She accused him of being essentially second in command, which explains his huge role within Scientology. Leah's allegations suggest that Tom's influence within the church is much more substantial than his public image might imply. Leah's departure from the church marked a turning point in her life, transforming her into an advocate against the organization she once belonged to. Her public feud with Tom Cruise symbolizes a struggle against the alleged abuses and secrecy within Scientology. Kate Ciberano Kate Ciberano has finally addressed the rumors about her friendship with Tom Cruise. Despite both being Scientologists, Kate made it clear that their shared religion does not mean a personal relationship. She compared the assumption to thinking every Catholic is friends with the Pope, which is obviously not true. During an interview, Kate scoffed at the idea of meeting up with Tom and his ex-wife, Katie Holmes, during their visit to Australia. She emphasized that she wouldn't even recognize them, let alone arrange a meeting. Kate rarely talks about her belief in Scientology and finds the constant references to her supposed friendship with Tom Cruise amusing. She brushes off these assumptions and says that the rumors can end up anywhere. Back in 2009, rumors swirled that Kate met up with Cruz and Holmes during their Australian visit. Kate firmly denies any friendship with Cruz. Despite their shared religion, she thinks it is crazy to assume they are friends, making it clear that just because they are both Scientologists, it does not mean they know each other personally. Kate Seberano wants to put an end to the assumptions about her friendship with Tom Cruise. They are not friends and she doesn't need any Hollywood connections to further her career. This revelation helps clarify her stance on her relationship with one of Scientology's most famous members and sheds light on the misconceptions that often arise from shared religious beliefs. There have been other Australians linked to Tom Cruise because of Scientology, including James Packer. Packer offered Cruise and his family the use of a luxury apartment during their stay in Australia. Although Packer's interest in Scientology has waned since his marriage and the birth of his daughter, he still maintains a personal friendship with Cruz. However, for Kate, she doesn't need Hollywood connections to succeed. She has made a name for herself with her talent alone. She is set to tour Australia and has even landed a prestigious gig in the US. The Beckhams, Victoria and David Beckham used to be seen often with Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. However, 
After Holmes and Cruz split, rumors started that Victoria and Tom had a falling out. At the Vogue 100 event, though, it seemed like there was no bad blood. Victoria said she and David Beckham have known Tom for many years. They even go out together and talk about his upcoming films and what it is like filming the action scenes for Mission Impossible. Despite these claims, some reports suggest Tom holds a grudge against the Beckhams. When the Beckhams moved to America in 2007 for David's LA Galaxy soccer career, they grew close to Tom. He helped them settle in by introducing them to important people in LA. However, over time, they drifted apart. According to a source, Tom feels betrayed because he helped the Beckhams a lot, and once they were settled, they distanced themselves. The Beckhams did try to reconnect with Tom, but he was not interested because he felt they should have made more effort to stay in touch. Additionally, there is talk that Tom wanted the Beckhams to learn more about Scientology, which may have caused them to step back from the friendship. Tom allegedly pressured the Beckhams to join Scientology, and their refusal led to further strain in their relationship. The Beckhams felt they had no choice but to distance themselves because Tom wouldn't take no for an answer. While Victoria insists they are still on good terms, claiming they still meet and talk about various things, some sources claim that Tom still feels hurt by the way their friendship faded. He felt that their efforts to make amends were weak, and he had no intention of rekindling the friendship unless they made a significant effort. Brooke Shields In 2005, a public feud erupted between Tom Cruise and Brooke Shields over her use of antidepressants to treat postpartum depression. Brooke candidly discussed her struggles in her book, Down Came the Rain, My Journey Through Postpartum Depression. She wrote how medication and therapy helped her during a difficult time after the birth of her daughter in 2003. However, Tom, a prominent Scientologist who opposes psychiatric medication, publicly criticized her choice. The controversy began when Tom appeared on the Today Show with Matt Lauer and called Brooke's use of antidepressants irresponsible. He argued that psychiatric medications only mask problems rather than cure them and suggested that vitamins and exercise were better alternatives. His comments were part of criticism of psychiatry, a stance aligned with Scientology's teachings which reject the use of psychiatric drugs. Tom's remarks sparked a strong response from Brooke. She defended her decision to use medication and criticized Tom for speaking on issues he lacked personal experience with pointing out that he had never suffered from postpartum depression. Brooke wrote an op-ed for the New York Times, emphasizing the importance of medical treatment for mental health issues and suggesting that Tom focuses on his own beliefs rather than commenting on women's healthcare choices. The feud was not only a clash of opinions, but also pointed out broader issues related to mental health, medical treatment, and the influence of Scientology in Hollywood. Brooke's openness about her struggles with postpartum depression brought attention to the condition and the effectiveness of antidepressants, challenging the stigma associated with mental health treatment. Despite the public nature of their disagreement, Tom and Brooke managed to mend their relationship. In 2006, Tom visited Brooke's home to offer a heartfelt apology, which Brooke accepted. She later attended Tom's wedding to Katie Holmes, signaling that they had put their differences aside. The incident between Tom and Brooke had a lasting impact on discussions about mental health in the public sphere. Brooke's advocacy for antidepressants and mental health awareness contrasted sharply with Tom's criticism of psychiatry. Brooke continued to advocate for mental health awareness, receiving praise for her efforts, while Tom maintained his stance against psychiatric medication, often drawing criticism for his views. The two of them may have starred alongside each other in the 1981 film Endless Love, but this is something that they clearly disagreed on. They may have made up after Tom's apology, but both of them still held their beliefs. Mickey Rourke In a 2022 interview with Piers Morgan, Mickey Rourke criticized Tom Cruise despite the massive success of Top Gun Maverick. Rourke dismissed all the praise for Tom and called him irrelevant. He also criticized him for playing similar roles for over three decades. He contrasted Tom's career with actors like Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, and Marlon Brando, whom he believes continually push their boundaries. This criticism came amidst widespread praise for Cruz revitalizing the movie industry with Top Gun, Maverick, which nearly reached $1.5 billion at the box office. Rourke's comments sparked a lot of reactions, 
which contrasted sharply with the general admiration Tom received for Top Gun Maverick. He argued that the superstar's consistent choice of similar roles has led to stagnation in his performances. Mickey emphasized that he values acting that stretches the actor's capabilities, something he feels Tom has not done. This criticism adds a layer of controversy to Cruz's otherwise celebrated career resurgence. While his fans and many in the industry view Top Gun Maverick as a triumphant return, Mickey's comments remind us that not everyone shares this view. The feud between Rourke and Cruz points out the differing values and expectations within the acting community. Mickey's dislike for Tom's career choices and his view that financial success does not equate to artistic merit is in contradiction of the praise Cruz has received for his latest film. Richard Harris Richard Harris is known for his bold personality and straightforward opinions, and he didn't hold back when it came to Tom Cruise. As Richard's own career was winding down, he often targeted Tom with his criticisms. Richard, famous for his roles in films like Gladiator and Harry Potter, questioned Tom's intellectual depth and acting skills. He humorously remarked on Tom's perfect teeth, but wondered if he had ever read a book, poking fun at what he saw as a lack of depth. Richard didn't stop there. He also made fun of Tom's height and the large security team that followed him everywhere. He bluntly called Tom a midget who looked even smaller next to his tall bodyguards and dismissed the extensive security detail as ridiculous. Richard's criticism extended to their contrasting lifestyles. He talked about his wild days, attending film premieres with a bottle of vodka in hand. This was very different from Tom's preference for drinking Evian water. Richard perceived it as the sanitization of Hollywood stardom. These criticisms reflected his broader frustration with the changing nature of Hollywood and the type of leading men it celebrated. His candid remarks about Tom sparked controversy and highlighted a clash between traditional and modern Hollywood ideals. Richard's comments revealed his preference for a more raw and unrefined approach to stardom in stark contrast to Tom's polished and controlled image. His dislike for the elitism he saw in the industry and his specific criticisms of Tom were symbolic of his frustration with the direction of modern cinema. Despite the controversy his comments generated, Richard remained unapologetic and rebellious, which defined his career as well. Richard's criticisms were not just about Tom's physical attributes or his security detail, they also dove into what Richard saw as a lack of substance in Tom's career. This criticism shows that Richard views modern Hollywood as placing too much emphasis on appearance and not enough on depth and talent. In 2009, Alec Baldwin humorously criticized Tom Cruise's hefty Hollywood paycheck during the Elle magazine Women in Hollywood Dinner. Baldwin pointed out the stark contrast in pay scales within the industry, suggesting that if Tom reduced his asking price by $29 million, it could help address Hollywood's gender pay gap. Baldwin quipped that balancing the scales was as simple as Tom taking a pay cut, though he admitted it was unfair since Tom wasn't there to defend himself. He added humorously that his own salary wouldn't make much of a difference, comparing it to the budget for Altoids in one of Tom's movies. Baldwin's comments emphasized his views on the disparities in Hollywood earnings, where top-tier stars like Tom demand astronomical sums. This was especially relevant given that Tom is reportedly worth around $570 million, making Baldwin's just appointed commentary on the income gap in the entertainment industry. Despite Baldwin's playful critique, he later worked alongside Tom in two of the Mission Impossible films, showing that their professional collaboration remained unaffected by the jokes. Baldwin's remarks brought attention to broader issues of wealth distribution and fairness in Hollywood. His ability to inject humor into a serious topic like pay disparity kept his audience engaged while making a significant point about the industry's economics. Baldwin's comments also reflected ongoing debates about gender pay inequality in Hollywood, a topic that many actors and actresses have spoken about over the years. The issue of gender pay disparity has been a controversial topic in Hollywood, with many advocating for change and transparency. Baldwin's joke at the L event highlighted how top male actors' substantial paychecks contribute to this imbalance, indirectly supporting the call for more equitable pay practices in the industry. Brad Pitt the rivalry between Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise in Hollywood dates back to the time when they were filming Interview with the Vampire in 1994. Although the movie became a cult classic, the behind-the-scenes tension between the two stars was very real. 
Brad is known for his rugged charm and serious acting approach, so he often finds himself at odds with Tom's larger-than-life personality and meticulous style. Reports from that time indicate that Brad wasn't shy about his feelings towards Tom, stating that he found Tom's behavior during filming to be irritating. This frustration came from their different approaches to acting and fame. While Brad saw himself as a character actor focusing on depth and subtlety, Tom thrived in the realm of Hollywood glamour and blockbuster success. This was something that Brad found challenging to relate to. In various interviews, Brad has expressed how their different styles and what he perceived as Tom's competitive nature created friction on set. He described Tom as always approaching interactions with a metaphorical handshake, whereas Brad preferred a more laid-back and spontaneous approach. This subtle competition, according to Brad, hindered any real conversation between them. Their tension wasn't limited to their time on the set of Interview with the Vampire, either. Rumors of their strained relationship have lasted for years, suggesting that Brad and Tom have never fully reconciled their differences. Even after filming wrapped, their interactions have been full of professional distance rather than friendship. Both actors continue to be top-tier stars in Hollywood, but their paths rarely cross, both professionally and personally. Tom, known for his roles in action-packed blockbusters, represents the pinnacle of mainstream Hollywood success. On the other hand, Brad has navigated his career with a blend of indie films and box office hits, focusing on roles that challenge him as an actor. This fundamental difference in career paths has further fueled their rivalry. Brad's preference for depth and complexity in his roles contrasts sharply with Tom's more straightforward, star-driven projects. The rivalry was reignited when both actors were vying for box office success with their respective World War II dramas in 2009. Brad was working on Inglorious Bastards, and Tom was starring in the film called Valkyrie. Brad's film outperformed Tom's at the box office, adding fuel to the fire. There were even reports that Brad called Tom's movie ridiculous. However, his agent later denied these reports, but the competition between these two titans was clear. Adding to the tension was an incident involving Brad's ex-wife, Angelina Jolie. In 2010, Angelina took on the lead role in Salt, a part initially considered for Tom. Although Tom was never officially signed for the role, the casting change seemed to irritate Tom, particularly as Angelina was married to Brad at the time. This incident further strained their already difficult relationship. Despite these tensions, both actors have continued to maintain successful careers. Brad's blend of indie and mainstream films and Tom's consistent box office successes showcase their distinct approaches to Hollywood stardom. While they haven't publicly sparred like Tom has with other celebrities, the tension between them remains an interesting aspect of their long and prosperous careers. Mark Wahlberg in 2013, Tom Cruise stirred up controversy with a statement comparing the intensity of his movie filming to fighting in Afghanistan. This remark did not sit well with Mark Wahlberg, who expressed his dislike during a Q&A session after the premiere of his film Lone Survivor. Wahlberg passionately disagreed with Tom's comparison and pointed out the huge differences between the challenges faced by actors and military personnel. Wahlberg's criticism was direct and unapologetic. He pointed out the privilege of actors who spend hours in makeup chairs versus soldiers who endure harsh conditions without the luxury of going home at the end of the day. The actor's frustration was apparent, and it showed his respect for the sacrifices made by military personnel. Wahlberg emphasized that no matter how challenging an actor's job might be, it cannot compare to the experiences of those in combat. In response to the backlash, Tom's lawyer clarified that his comment was meant in jest and emphasized Tom's support for the troops. The lawyer stated that what Tom said was grossly distorted, he meant it as a joke. Tom would never make such comparisons because he is a supporter of the American troops as well. Despite this explanation, Wahlberg's sentiment was shared by many who found Tom's comparison inappropriate and insensitive. The controversy began when Tom's comments, made during a deposition in his $50 million libel case against Bauer Media, were leaked. Tom had been discussing the challenges of being away from his young daughter during long movie shoots and made the comparison to serving in Afghanistan. Although he attempted to clarify that the statement was not meant to be taken literally, the damage was done. Wahlberg's passionate response drew attention to the differences between Hollywood challenges and real-life combat situations. 
His respect for the military was evident as he recounted the sacrifices made by soldiers. Justin Bieber In 2019, Justin Bieber made headlines when he sparked a bizarre feud by challenging Tom Cruise to a fight in the octagon. This unexpected challenge left everyone bewildered. Bieber took to Twitter, saying that if Tom does not take the fight, then it means that he is scared. The tweet went viral almost immediately, raising eyebrows and leading to widespread confusion about Bieber's motives. Adding to the strangeness of the situation, Bieber posted a video of himself performing a high kick to knock the cap off a bottle. He also said that the bottle could easily have been Tom's head. The internet buzzed with speculation about what might have prompted Bieber's sudden aggression towards the Mission Impossible star. Various theories circulated including possible religious differences, personal issues, or simply a craving for attention. Despite the serious tone of his challenge, Bieber later clarified his intentions. Speaking to TMZ, he admitted that the tweet was meant in jest. He acknowledged that the whole incident might have been a spontaneous, albeit bizarre, moment for him. This admission meant that Bieber had not genuinely intended to provoke a fight, but rather was engaging in some lighthearted antics. Interestingly, while Bieber was vocal about his challenge, Tom Cruise remained notably silent on the matter, adding an element of mystery to the situation. Bieber eventually admitted that Cruise would probably defeat him in a fight due to his dad's strength. He even told James Corden during a carpool karaoke segment that while he believed he could take on Cruise, he was not entirely serious about the challenge. The feud left fans and observers alike wondering about the true motivations behind Bieber's challenge. Was it a publicity stunt, a joke gone too far, or something else entirely? Despite the initial excitement, the feud between Bieber and Cruz seemed to fizzle out as quickly as it started. Tom's lack of response and Bieber's admissions led the incident to fade into the background of celebrity gossip. However, it remains a memorable moment for its sheer unexpectedness and the media frenzy it generated. Katie Holmes It is almost impossible to not think of Katie Holmes when talking about Tom Cruise. In 2005, Tom and Katie were affectionately dubbed Tomcat by the media. They became one of Hollywood's most talked about couples. Their relationship attracted a lot of attention, especially with the birth of their daughter, Suri, in 2006. The couple followed Scientology's practice of a silent birth, a concept based on the teachings of Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. This aims for a calm and quiet delivery to minimize trauma for the newborn. This practice was highly publicized and added to all the interests surrounding their relationship. The couple married in a lavish ceremony at the Odescalchi Castle in Rome later that year. The wedding was extravagant with Giorgio Armani designing the dresses for Katie and Suri. Despite the fairy tale like wedding, there were rumors and speculations about their relationship being more of a Hollywood facade. Tom's infamous couch jumping incident on Oprah Winfrey's show, where he passionately professed his love for Katie, only added fuel to the fire. However, their seemingly perfect union took a drastic turn in 2012 when Katie filed for divorce, a move that reportedly blindsided Tom. According to various reports, Katie had carefully planned her exit, keeping her intentions secret to ensure a swift and uncontested divorce. The primary reason behind her decision was reportedly to protect their daughter, Suri, from being raised under Scientology's strict principles. Katie was awarded primary custody of Suri, with Tom securing visitation rights. The issue of raising Suri as a Scientologist was a big point of the dispute. According to Ron Miscavige, father of Scientology leader David Miscavige, there was a concern that Suri might have to disconnect from Katie if she were raised under Scientology's doctrines. This fear played a crucial role in Katie's decision to leave Tom and the Church of Scientology behind. Tom admitted in a deposition during a lawsuit that part of the reason for their split was Katie's desire to protect Suri from Scientology. Since their divorce, Tom and Katie's relationship has remained strained. Reports suggest that Tom has been largely absent from Suri's life for years. Sources indicate that he has not seen her in a long time, with his deep involvement in Scientology often thought of as a reason for this distance. This absence has contributed to the ongoing tension between Tom and Katie, as she has taken on the primary role of raising Suri in New York City. Katie has distanced herself from her past with Tom and Scientology, focusing on her career and raising Suri away from the public eye. She has been vocal about her happiness and contentment in her current life, which is far removed from the shadow of her high-profile marriage to Tom.
Despite the passage of time, it appears that the rift between Tom and Katie remains, with Katie seemingly preferring to keep their past firmly in the past. Nicole Kidman Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise were one of Hollywood's most talked-about couples during their 11-year marriage, which lasted from 1990 to 2001. Reflecting on their relationship, Nicole has shared several insights and candid thoughts over the years. In an interview with Red Magazine, Nicole admitted that marrying Tom at such a young age is a decision she questions in hindsight. She described feeling a certain loneliness during their marriage, even at moments of great professional success, such as when she won an Oscar. This award, instead of bringing her joy, led to an epiphany about the emotional toll her marriage had taken on her. Nicole's divorce from Tom in 2001 was a shocking and blindsiding experience for her as she revealed in an interview with DuJour magazine. She talked about the deep emotional impact the separation had on her life, stating it was a greatly challenging period. Despite the struggles, Nicole hasn't expressed explicit animosity towards Tom. However, it's evident that the marriage and eventual divorce were emotionally disturbing experiences for her. In various interviews, she has talked about how the intense media scrutiny during their relationship added to the strain. She mentioned that she sometimes wonders if she was too open about their relationship, leading to the relentless attention they received. The journey from youthful optimism to emotional hardship and eventual healing shows the complexities of long-term relationships, especially in the Hollywood spotlight. Nicole's candid thoughts provide a window into the personal struggles behind celebrity marriages, reminding people that fame and success do not shield individuals from universal emotions like loneliness, regret, and heartbreak. Nicole has since moved on and found happiness with her current husband, Keith Urban. They married in 2006 and have remained inseparable, with Nicole often describing their relationship as one built on mutual love and respect. Russell Crowe Loyalty means a lot to some people, even to big celebrities with fame and fortune. For Russell Crowe, this loyalty led to a rumored dislike for Tom Cruise, stemming from how Tom treated Nicole Kidman during their marriage and divorce. When Tom and Russell worked together on the 2017 reboot of The Mummy, rumors swirled that Russell could not stand Tom. According to various sources, Russell has disliked Tom for years due to his treatment of Nicole. A source mentioned that Russell is a loyal guy who never forgave Tom for the way he treated Nicole. If Russell had stayed friends with Tom, he would have felt he was betraying Nicole, so he froze Tom out of his life. Nicole and Russell's friendship goes way back, long before their Hollywood fame. They first met in Australia, and their bond has remained strong over the years. In a 2018 Vanity Fair interview, Nicole recalled an early memory of Russell coming to a party at her house where she tried to cook paella, but the rice turned out crunchy. Despite the cooking mishap, their friendship flourished, demonstrating the depth of their connection. Russell's loyalty to Nicole meant that when Tom and Nicole's marriage ended, Russell chose to distance himself from Tom. This loyalty continued to play out years later when Russell and Tom were cast together in The Mummy. According to reports, the tension between the two actors was apparent on set. Russell found it difficult to work alongside Tom due to his lingering resentment over how Nicole was treated during her marriage to Tom. Their interactions on set were described as professional but distant. The underlying tension between them was a result of Russell's unwavering support for Nicole and his disapproval of Tom's past actions. Despite their need to collaborate on the film, the unresolved issues from the past created an atmosphere of discomfort and distance. Even as both actors navigated their successful careers in Hollywood, Russell's loyalty to Nicole remained unwavering. This loyalty influenced his feelings towards Tom, leading to a professional relationship full of tension and a lack of respect. So what do you guys think of Tom Cruise? Is he being targeted just because he has been so successful for so many years? Or are these people really on to something? His affiliation with the Church of Scientology has certainly made him sound a little shady at times. And his mistreatment of his former wives is a rumor no one has stepped up to deny. Do you think he is a one-dimensional actor? He certainly has been doing similar roles for years now. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Until next time.